welcome back to another episode of Fabric Friday with me, Mary Morningstar Johnson from Ruby and Violet Designs. And I'm going to be talking to you guys today about a fabric illustrator named Laurel Birch. She is one of my very favorites and she is a California artist. She started Laurel Birch Artworks in, uh, in and around the 1960s in California. And then around 1979, she branched off um, from her financial backer and she started Laurel Birch Inc. And when she started Laurel Birch Inc. she decided to do a lot more licensed work with her illustrations and um, she collaborated with a company called Clothworks and they're the fabric company that printed and sold her licensed fabric. And um, unfortunately in 2007 she passed away um, I believe from osteoporosis and um, her family made the decision to still reproduce her fabrics for her and so you can still find them in different quilt shops but um, but unfortunately she's no longer designing fabric so um, I'm going to show you guys some of the fabric that I have of hers that I've kind of collected on different trips and um, show you a project that I'm working on with her fabric that I actually started in 2008 and it's still not done but it's still exciting to see and I get excited to work on it every now and then so I hope you enjoy so in 2008 I had joined a quilt club here in Mount Carmel where I live um, the homespun quilt club and they were having, they actually, they worked extremely hard to have this retreat at our local community college. And um, they invited different quilters, well-known quilters to come and do workshops. And so they had classes, they had a quilt show. And then um, we had a guest speaker, Susan Cleveland, a Minnesota quilter. Um, and I elected to sign up with a class with her because some ladies in my quilt club said how wonderful she is and she has all these great methods and she's developed all these great tools to help make quilting easier. And I was relatively new to quilting so I thought well that would be a good place to start probably with her. So um, I could not be more happy that I took a class with her. So the class that I took with Susan Cleveland was called Marvelous Miters. And I even got this wonderful book, um, Marvelous Miters by Susan Cleveland. And if any of you have ever sewn a Y seam, they are very tricky and not the most fun. So anytime you can find an easy way around a Y seam, um, that's usually what you wanna do. Well, Susan Cleveland, her class was developed around showing you how to sew a Y seam, but she has a certain set of instructions of how to sew it to make it a little bit easier to sew. So anyway, when, she, when I started the class, she had these little kits set up for us for the class. And um, in the kit were little birch fabrics. And I, I didn't really know much about quilting. I didn't really know much about fabric other than I knew different kinds of fabric. I knew more about apparel fabric at the time. I only had enough for two blocks, so I knew that I needed to get more. And when I started looking, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. That seems to be my luck, usually is not being able to find fabric that I want. And so um, over the years I did some searching and I was finally able to find this uh, panel. And the line of fabric that it is is called Secret Jungle. And um, it is beautiful, bright colored animals that you would see in the jungle. And then she framed them with her mitre uh, method. And so it's kind of a window frame and she fussy cut little animals. And I couldn't find the exact um, bolt of fabric that she bought from but I did find these panels and so I was able to, they're close enough that I don't think anybody will be able to tell. And so anyway, um, I have enough fabric now that I can make a whole quilt out of these fabrics. And so 
I'm really excited about it and I'm going to do a close up here and show you what it looks like. So here's a great close up of the Secret Jungle panel. And you can see it's very, very detailed. The line work in it is absolutely gorgeous. And she uses a lot of these uh, metallic gold flecks in her work. And some of the lines um, you can see around the cats, they are also metallic. But the bright colors, I mean, they are just absolutely gorgeous. And I just have a real love for beautifully illustrated fabric, which this is. And then here's a better close up of one of my blocks. And you can see it's almost a double miter. And if Y seams are a nemesis of yours, or if you have a quilt pattern that you're waiting to do because you're nervous about the miters in it, um, you should definitely check out Susan Cleveland's book, Marvelous Miters. So Laurel Birch was mainly a fabric illustrator who focused mostly on animals and did these, as I mentioned before, gorgeous illustrations, brightly colored of different animals. And the first line of fabric that I'm going to show you is her fabulous felines. I don't have all of the prints from the collection. I just have a few of my favorites that I have collected and this first one is more of an all-around cat print. Um, you can see, again, she uses that gold, metallic gold in there. And the colors are just breathtaking. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. The brightness of the colors. This fabric from the Fabulous Felines collection. These are blocks that, as quilters know, um, anytime you have a fabric that you can just cut and go, that is wonderful. And this fabric is definitely one of those fabrics where the block is pretty well made for you and you can just cut them out. You can use the borders on them. You can just cut out to the picture if you want. Um, but just look at these gorgeous illustrations and just the design work around them. It's beautiful. This one I got um, because I, I love text. I love different fonts. Um, and I just thought that this fabric I loved the little illustrations in it. I loved her autograph in it. And, um, and it goes well, again, with all of my fabrics that I have of hers. Um, this is also some of her um, fabulous feline fabric, but these are in a blue. Um, and again, the blue is so rich the color of blue and I love again the gold in it. So you can see these are also blocks that you could just cut out and sew up for a quilt. And then this is a coordinating fabric that goes with it. And this one could be used in a variety of different ways. It could be used for borders. You could cut it and make blocks. You could cut it and make your bias for around your quilt, bias tape for your binding. So those are some of the fabulous feline fabrics that I have and I'm going to show you more. The next collection I'm going to show you of Laurel Birch's is called Flying Colors 2. And when my husband and I were on vacation in Pacific City, Oregon, um, he actually proposed to me in 2009 when we were on a family trip with my family to Pacific City. 
and we came across a little quilt shop called BJ's Fabrics and Quilts and it was kind of in the basement I think of the people who owned it I think it was in the basement of their house and I recently looked them up and I believe they've moved to a st storefront in Cloverdale Oregon so if you're ever out that way, I definitely recommend checking them out. They have a great selection of fabrics and they always had different and new Laurel Birch fabrics when we have been out there. We've made uh, two or three trips out there and we go to their shop every time that we go. And so here is some of the Laurel Birch fabric that I got in Oregon. You can see the hummingbirds and it's almost like a watercolor painting behind and I just it it reminds me almost of Dr. Martin watercolor dyes the brightness of the color I just absolutely love it and here's some more from that collection and again these are little blocks that you could print out cut out for your quilt This one's a little a little bit different from the others, but it is also from the flying colors too. She really had in her fabric collection a pretty wide range of fabrics, the design work in the fabrics. It's absolutely beautiful. And then this one could be used for borders. Again, the bias binding, the binding for around the quilt. They have the hummingbirds and the butterflies. And so those are the fabrics that I have from the Flying Colors too. Another Laurel Birch fabric I have to show you is from her collection, Dogs and Doggies. And my husband's a big dog person, so of course we had to buy fabric of her dogs. So. Here are these. They're very stylized, almost cave painting like in a way, very primitive in her illustration, but colorful. And again, I love it. This fabric is in the dogs and doggy line, but it could definitely fit into the Flying Colors 2 collection, I think, because she hid some hummingbirds in there and the butterflies and with the colors. And so again, that's another reason that I love this fabric. It can go in so many different quilts if you're using fabrics of hers. Here's another all over dog print. This would be a great one if you want to fussy cut the dogs to get specific dog faces in your different blocks. And of course I had to get another border binding fabric. And I love these different designs that you can use as a border. And then this one's like the first one, only it has a black background instead of a white background. So there's that one. Thanks again for tuning in for Fabric Friday with me, Mary Morningstar Johnson from Ruby and Violet Designs. I will be back again next Friday to talk to you about another fabric line that I love and that hopefully you will end up loving too. Thank you. Mm -hmm.